Hello YouTube and welcome back to another update on the garden room build. In this video I'll be showing you what I got up to on day 10 where I installed the door and window. I started by cutting the window sill to size, fitted the decorative ends and put the window seal in place. I then sat the frame on top and used glazers packing pieces around the top and size to get a tight fit. I then pre-drilled holes in the window frame, countersunk them and screwed directly through the frame, the packing pieces and into the wooden frame. As a general rule of thumb, you'll want to allow 5 to 10 millimetres around each side of the window as leeway in your opening to give you some tolerance. Once completed, I then used expanding foam to go around and fill the gaps from both inside and out. You can see I've then fitted the glass. I used the toe and heel method for packing the glass panels within the frame, which ensures that over time the glass shouldn't subside and distort the frame, preventing the window from opening and closing in the long term. You can see more about this in my other garden room build video. Once the expanding foam has dried, I cut it away with a standing knife and then went around with window sealant to seal the edges. This is later then going to be covered with some window trim. A top tip when using the expanding foam is to make sure that you leave it until it's completely dry before trying to break away the excess. If you try and do it when it's wet, it makes a real mess and ends up leaving lots of residue behind, which is even more difficult to clean up. The process was then basically the same for the door, although it was much trickier as it came pre-glazed and it was very heavy. It's definitely a two-person job. So there we have the door and window installed and the building is basically watertight. In the next video we'll move on to the cladding. Thanks to everyone for watching, liking, subscribing and for all of your comments. It's great to see the feedback you all have. I'm also pleased to say that I've now surpassed a thousand subscribers, which is pretty amazing. So thanks everyone and see you in the next one.